high school sophomore Alec Lord. From starting his own environmental nonprofit organization, becoming the youngest presenter trained by Al Gore's climate project, and writing a new Declaration of Independence. This Ventura, California teen isn't taking climate change sitting down. I feel that I'm being called to stop global warming within my lifetime. Our voices matter more than anyone else, and we are already making the world better. We caught up with this eco-crusader doing a presentation for the Alliance for Climate Education. Our organizations. Lures has given dozens of these presentations on the science of climate change. We're adding more CO2 into the atmosphere than the Earth is prepared to handle. What causes it, and how to fight it. For example, if every American just replaced four light bulbs with CFLs, it would be the same as taking three million cars off the road. Lourdes says he felt the call to do something when he was only 12. What really got you started with all this? I mean, what was your inspiration? Well, it all started when I saw Al Gore's movie, An Inconvenient Truth. Uh, and after I saw that movie, I was just so motivated by uh, the global warming issue, the climate, this climate crisis. I knew I had to do something about it. He contacted Al Gore's climate project then and there, but he was too young at the time. So he started his own nonprofit group, Kids vs. Global Warming, instead. And this media whiz kid designed his own presentation. I just feel so passionate about this issue. I just, I just want to do everything I can to slow down global warming and to convince other people that we need to be taking action. It wasn't long before Gore's camp welcomed him into the fold. He felt really bad about rejecting me a couple years before. Um, so he actually ended up personally inviting me to his next training session in Nashville, Tennessee. So I then became the youngest trained presenter of his Inconvenient Truth presentation. Lourdes isn't just talking the talk, he's walking it too. He started Sea Level Awareness Campaign, or SLAP for short. It shows us one thing that could happen if climate change isn't stopped. I saw a map of what my city of Ventura would look like if we didn't respond to climate change and sea level rose 23 feet like scientists project and I was just blown away. Half of the city would be gone within a year. We had put out these nine poles throughout the beach warning of future sea level rise. He's not stopping there. He's taking his case to lawmakers, too. So I wrote a declaration of independence from fossil fuels, and it states that we, the youth of America, no longer want to be governed by the fossil fuel industry. Our addiction to fossil fuels is endangering our rights as, uh, as youth to life, liberty, and happiness. Lourdes says it's about sending world leaders a message. Just letting them know that we care about this issue and that we as youth demand that they take action and make choices that benefit our future. It's a future we hold in the palm of our hands. So who is ready to do whatever it takes to stop global warming? We're going to be affected more than anyone else by the global climate crisis and we're going to have to grow up to face the consequences of what the world does or fails to do now. And I think we don't have to wait till we grow up to make these changes. People always say that we're the future, but we're here now. So we're the present and our, our voices do make a difference.